and welcome back to Calabunga Corner Reviews. In this episode, we are going back to space. That's right. We already reviewed the Dimension X Turtles. That is based on the Nickelodeon series. And now we are picking up on the rest of the first release of the Dimension X characters. Let's kind of hope that we get a few others because we have the awesome Mona Lisa. April in her yellow spacesuit and Casey Jones with his spacesuit. They have not been released and it would be cool to have them as part of this amazing set. I'd also love to see the Fugitoid ship. But I'm jumping ahead of myself. <laughs> I'm going to start off here with the Fugitoid. The Fugitoid is a character from the Mirage comics. In fact, he was created before the Turtles were. Eastman and Laird did the Fugitoid comic book. And uh, then they added him to the Ninja Turtle comics. Since Ninja Turtles made a hit. He did not make it into either the original cartoon series or the Archie comics. But he did come in for the 4 Kids series. And now is back being played by David Tennant on the Nickelodeon series with a whole new story arc. So far, my favorite story arc for the Fugitoid is going to the IDW comics. What they have done with the Fugitoid is just outstanding. I can't believe that they have a story arc on an origin that I actually feel is better than the actual origin in the old Mirage comics. It's rare I admit to that because I love the Mirage comics. I'm going to pull him out, and he has his little cardboard. Fugitoid, cyborg human turtle ally. Really, that's all they got on him? He comes with two books. We saw these books with the turtles. I am going to look at the Fugitoid here, and I'm very happy to say he has no twist ties. No twist ties! Pull him out of here. It looks like his little... Plastic arms should be a little bit more flexible than they are, but they are slightly flexible. Before I go into too much on the action figure himself, let's check out the back of the box. Fugitoid Cyborg Human Turtle Ally. A brilliant scientist's brain stuck inside a cyborg's body. Fugitoid is the turtle's most trusted ally in space. Once known as Professor Zayton Honeycutt, Fugitoid supplies the turtles with spacesuits, weapons, and his vast knowledge of outer space. Fugitoid helps the turtles track down the Triceratons who save planet Earth from ultimate destruction. Weapons, wrist cannons, and telepathic abilities. Team Ninja Turtles. Telepathic abilities. Don't we already have that with April on this show? Inside the season finale of season three, the Fugitoid shows up just as Earth is about to be destroyed and saves the turtles. He announces that he is there to save them and brings them on his ship. In season four, we learn that they need to time travel back six months to try and save planet Earth. And he is going to help them against the evil Triceratons. And that is where we are at with the Fugitoid. Uh, the details on him is pretty simple. In fact, I kind of like how he turned out, besides for the fact that I have a hard time making him stand on glass. Now, in the show, I notice he seems to be a lot more taller than the turtles. So when we have Donnie kind of standing, towering over him in his spacesuit, it kind of says that he is the wrong height. But that is normal with this series. I don't mind too much because I like the detail and I like that we have a toy of him. He's not one of those characters where he looms over the turtles like dog pound or leatherhead so this kind of works i mean if you put a half shell hero turtle next to him he's going to be way too tall for that half shell hero turtle unlike with leatherhead you put one of these guys next to leatherhead now mikey just looks like a little toddler down there with the fugitoid instead of looking like the right size but that's fugitoid and i like him i especially like him in idw comics IDW Comics rock. Next up, we are going with Lord Drake. Everyone has a character, be it, I don't know, Venus de Milo for some. I personally like Venus. Um, others might not like Walker or Lord Dornaga from the third Turtle movie. Maybe Miss Stewart or Kenshin, for that matter, since uh, there seems to be a lot of third turtle movie haters out there. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe Dragon Lord. For me, it's Lord Drake. This character came 
into the original cartoon series in 1995. And that was the year I felt the series jumped the shark. I didn't really feel like Lord Drake had a reason to focus on the turtles as much as he did. I actually really, really hated the character. And to the point where I have a hard time watching the 95 and 96 seasons of Turtles. I felt that this character destroyed the show that I loved so much as a kid. I never wanted to see any homage to him ever again. I, I wanted his character to be gone. Now, I'm not going to say that his voice actor was bad. Because his voice actor was brilliant. I'm not going to say his character design was bad. Because the character design could have worked. It was his personality and set determination on taking over Earth and just no absolute clue on why he was really there and why he took the place of the Shredder and Crane. So when I found out that Lord Drag was coming to the Nickelodeon series, I cried inside. I cried a little bit. Because personally, this is one character I don't need to be reminded of. I did see him as he made his appearance inside the first episode of the fourth season of Turtles. And I do see that they did a better job at coming up with a reason on why he's going to be fighting the Turtles. And that they're giving him his all-over appearance revamp look and everything. Oh, by the way, he had one this time. It doesn't take the way of the memory to the name. I think I would have liked this character if they did not name it Lord Drake. Here's Lord Drake's cardboard. Ruler of Planet Sectoid. So, Lord Drake has the wing thing going for him. And his back. Which is kind of weird because they gave him the swing back and forth wings, but you can't separate them. They are just stuck together. He also has a tail. He's very, very purple, and you can kind of see through him. And he's got his own design, but they're trying to give him this bug-like feel. I do think his wings should separate, though. I, I feel like this was a mistake to make it as one mold and one piece. He stands. He should be taller. His little arms do pop off. But they're just easy snap back on to a little ball joint. So now we got him standing and I am going to look at the back of his box. Lord Drag, ruler of Planet Sectoid. Lord Vinegrath Drag is lord of all insect life in the universe. He is the most vicious alien gangster in the galaxy and has the fighting power to back it up with a mouthful of fangs, spider hands that shoot webs, robug servants, and a battle mode that equips him with a battle mask, electro blasters, and chest rocket. Lord Drag is the ruler that should not be tested. Weapons, insect rockets. Team, lord of all insect life. I'm sure that I'm not the only one out there going boo to drag being back. But I'm also sure that there's people doing that more to characters like Venus or Mona. Or somebody else that just really scratches somebody's chalkboard. But he is kind of my... Ugh. Ouch character to be brought back. Him and Carter. Please don't bring back Carter too. Whatever you do, Nickelodeon. Don't. Yes, die! Now, my hope for Drag in this series is that when he has a final episode, which I hope he has an actual final episode, he is beaten hard into the ground and just defeated laying there bleh, and never comes back after that. That's what I want. Not this are out in space because that means he can come back and I don't want him to come back no no when he's dead leave him dead he's an insect he can go bye bye now I did drag in the middle so I didn't leave on that down note of me really really despising a character because I do despise drag and I saved Mozart for last this is Mozart's second toy his first one was inside the 4 Kids series toy line, because the Turtles also got to fight the Triceratons in that. Mozart is a Triceraton from the original comics, brought to life first in the cartoon world from the awesome, amazing 4 Kids series, and now is brought back as a totally new 
character for the Nickelodeon show. Here is his cardboard. Mozart, leader of the Triceraton army. And Mozart has one twist tie. I personally like the body shapes of the Triceratons inside this series more than the ones in the 4Kids series because I, after re-watching the 4Kids series and seeing these first, I realized just how humanoid the ones inside the other series look and that they gave these more of a dinosaur feel with their body shape. And speaking about the body shape, check out the mold on this guy. There's details to his face. There's all these little details, crevices carved right into him. He's got his mask on. His outfit has a pattern to it. There's the little logo there, the big space boots, tiny, tiny tail. He's got a really small tail for such a big guy. Worst thing is these guys tower over the turtles. So when we take these guys and hold them next to them, and Mikey's the same size, that just don't work. That's kind of like saying dog pound and uh, leatherhead. So we do better off, a little bit better with these guys, but these guys are even a little too short. They still are like built out like muscular, so they look like they could be big if you do the right photo shoots. But if you stand them directly next to the guys, you, you can tell. Let's check out the back of the box. Mozart, leader of the Triceraton army. Captain Mozart guides the Triceratons through the galaxy on their mission to eliminate the Krang alien race. He won't let anything stand in the way of taking out the Krang, including the destruction of the turtle's home planet, Earth. With the Triceraton army backing him and his plasma cannon and force mine in each hand, he's prepared to do whatever is necessary to destroy the Krang. Weapon? Cannon blasters. Team? Triceraton. You know? He didn't come with the cannon blaster. We don't get his weapon. In fact, each of the characters that I opened up today did not come with weapons. Sadness. But they're all really well detailed. They're good for the series. They're what we're expecting from Playmates Toys because Playmates Toys has been with us for a long time. We're getting used to what they have in store for us, which is actually a really good artillery of toys. Now a very, very, very important note if you are looking for these two toys while you're doing your holiday shopping for the year of 2015, please know that they are only at Walmart. These are Walmart exclusive action figures. Walmart only. Well, Fugitoid, he can get around, but if you want a special edition of Fugitoid, please check Target because they got this nice five pack that I really, really need to get my hands on. <laughs> but, yeah, Target for the exclusives with Fugitoid and the Four Turtles. But Walmart for Mozart and Drag. And um, this is Drag's first toy ever. Even though he was the lead arch villain of two seasons of the original Ninja Turtle cartoon series. This is the first time he's been made as a toy. That says how bad the original drag was. I'm serious. Not that good. This is the Dimension X series line of action figures out for right now. And it is extremely awesome. I'm loving what they're doing in the show. Nickelodeon has it down packed. And now we have all four turtles. Fugitoid, Lord Drag, and Captain Mozart. Talk about some awesome, awesome gathering of characters, but I still say we need the Fugitoid ship. I personally love it that the Fugitoid is voiced by David Tennant. And another one that I am really, really excited about is that Mozart here is voiced by Michael Dorn. If you don't know who Michael Dorn is, he is actually Worf on Star Trek Next Generation. And I've met him a few times, so I already have his autograph because that is one of my favorite characters from Star Trek. I'm like, awesome! He is now in Ninja Turtles. And we now, my favorite doctor, the 10th doctor, is in Ninja Turtles. And from what I hear from an interview with Rob Paulson, David Tennant is a turtle fan. Yay! Awesome to know that you are a fellow turtle head or shell head, whatever you want to call yourself. Awesome. Thank you for joining Ninja Turtle History, David. We are happy to have you. <laughs> um, I don't really know much about uh, Peter Stormar, who is uh, Lord Dreg. I know he's got a long history of shows and stuff that he's worked on, including Arrow. 
but I can't say I really know his work. I know that he did pretty good for the drag in the show, but he's not really playing a character I'm too excited about, so I haven't done too much research into his work yet. I might eventually to see what other things that you can find him in. I hope you enjoyed this review of these three awesome Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. We are going to have a lot more Ninja Turtle toys here for you on Cowabunga Corner. As the holidays is approaching, we are getting out as many reviews as we can to say, Hey, these are awesome gift ideas. And these are, make sure to find these two at Walmart and get them while they're still in the exclusive area. Get the first release of the Fugitoid and Mozart. And we will catch everyone with all this cool turtle stuff next time here on Cowabunga Corner.